In this learning target, we're going to analyze the structure of atoms. So here are the things you're going to need to be able to do. Summarize the major contributions that led to atomic theory. Now that's not going to be covered in this video, but it will be covered. Um, in this video, we're going to cover the location of protons, neutrons, and electrons, the charges of all of those, and the masses of all of those. So the easiest way to do that is to create this chart. So pause the video, copy this chart down. Basically remember that protons and neutrons are in the nucleus of the atom or the center. The electrons are in energy levels around the nucleus. Um, protons and neutrons are about the same size as each other and compared to electrons they are really really big okay the electrons are really really tiny compared to the protons and neutrons it would be like comparing say a bowling ball to a grain of sand so really really big really really tiny of course they're all really tiny anyway charges protons are plus one neutrons are neutral no charge electrons are negative and then symbols that you're going to see me use protons with a little plus sign, neutrons with a zero, electrons with a negative. This target, I can determine mass number, atomic number, protons, neutrons, electrons, and isotopes. So we're going to identify our isotopes using A and Z. Um, so we're going to determine A and Z plus numbers of protons, neutrons, and electrons using isotopic notation. Determine what those isotopes are, and then um, Oh, I repeated. Well, that's okay. Pretty much the same thing here. So if we look at the box on our periodic table where our element is, this is going to tell us a few things. So for example, the atomic number is written on top as a whole number. That is Z. So atomic number is Z. Of course, the symbol here, element name. Now this down here is what we call the average atomic mass. That is not the same as mass number that we're going to see in a minute. Okay, so average atomic mass is what's given on the periodic table. So pause and jot these things down. Okay, Z is going to represent atomic number. We find this on the periodic table. A represents what we call the mass number. Now this is the number of protons plus neutrons in the nucleus of an atom. So it's got to be a whole number because we're counting protons and neutrons. It cannot be found on the periodic table. Now that number, that average atomic mass, will be close, but it's not the same. It's used to identify the isotope. So the mass number is how we identify a specific isotope. So what is an isotope? Well, it's an atom of an element that's going to have a different mass. All right, so um, you have different versions, I guess you could say, of an element. And what they have in common is their number of protons but they each have a different number of neutrons, which is going to give them a different mass. So an isotope is a specific type of um, atom in an element, all right? Okay, so pause and jot down this chart here. Um, these are three different ways that we notate isotopes. So we can write the name of the element followed by the mass number, okay? So remember mass numbers, protons and neutrons. We like for here neon 20, cobalt 60. We can use the symbol and we write the mass number as A up here and Z, the atomic number at the bottom. Or sometimes we'll just write the A and leave off the Z. So neon 20 would be written like this. So the 20 comes from the mass number here. 10 comes from the atomic number on the periodic table. Cobalt 60, 60 is the mass number. 28 is its atomic number from the periodic table. You can also write the symbol followed by the mass number. Of course, that's a little less common. All right, so another way to put all this is in a chart. So you can pause the video and copy this chart down. So this tells you what Z is, atomic number, how to find it on the periodic table. It's also equal to the number of protons and electrons. So Z, P, and E are all going to be equal to each other. Um, a is what we call our mass number, so again that's protons and neutrons, so either P plus N, or remember that Z and P are the same, so it can be Z plus N. Protons are what we use to identify the element. The number of protons cannot change unless we are actually changing our element, okay? So that's on the periodic table, that's the same as your atomic number, Z. Neutrons are going to uh, help us identify our isotope. 
So that's mass number minus atomic number if we rearrange our equation from up here, protons plus neutrons. So either A minus Z or A minus P. Then the electrons in a neutral atom are the same as your protons. 